Now to create a area site area calculation, first we need to do is create area plan. So from the view tab, we're going to click on plan views and we're going to select area plan. And then we're going to select this option here, this one here, ground floor. Uh, we're doing a garden house, that's why we have the GH prefix in front of it. We're going to select OK and make sure we're using gross building rather than rentable. And select OK and I'm not sure how the program is going to deal with the boundary so I'm usually saying no so we have this area plan created and we probably need to do some cleaning up removing all the unnecessary information from the link uh, survey drawing uh, cat file and then clean up a little bit before we start so I'll do that and come back to show you what to do next now that we've cleaned up the view and uh, turn off some of the information we don't need for doing this area plan, we can start placing the area boundary to create this area uh, object inside this plan. So I'm just going to go to the architectural plan and then select area boundary. I'm just going to pick the sketch tool, just going to use line. So uh, select the endpoint of the property boundary and just go through the whole process of placing all the necessary area boundary. And then we can start placing the area afterward. Now that we got all the area boundary placed in this area plan, we can start placing the area. Now when we click inside the architectural tab and select area, select area under the drop down, and we can start placing the area. Now the toggle in here is tag on placement. So if I turn this off, then I can place the area without the tag, but it's probably simpler and more um, efficient if you just turn on tag on placement. We can always modify the tag later on after we finish placing all the area. So I'm just going to place all the area and area tag inside this plan. So I'm just going to click a different area. And make sure that the whole thing has the area fill. And then we can start labeling or giving the area its name and category uh, for the table sorting and calculation. Now that we have all the area uh, uh, updated with their appropriate name, uh, we're going to need to do a, a schedule to calculate all the area. Now before we do that, we need to sort this area based on different categories. Uh, by default, we can use name and we can use comment in there, uh, but it's probably best to use a category that we can create using a project parameter. So from manage, we're going to go to project parameters and I'm going to create a new parameter. It's going to be area category. And it's going to be instant parameter. It's going to be a text category information. And I'm just going to put it inside area areas in here. Okay. Now I'm going to select uh, group under part in identity data and then select okay. 
and select OK. Now next time when you select an area, so if we tap to select this area, and you can see in the identity data, you see area category. Now in here, we can place, the, we can add the a text information to for sorting and grouping of this inform of this area. So I'm just going to put in here paved area. Okay. Now you can actually go through these uh, uh, these exercise, selecting each area and assigning uh, a category to each area for sorting and grouping. But it's probably easier to do inside a table inside the schedule rather than doing individually. So I'm going to go to view and then select schedules and then schedules and quantities. And here I'm going to select area gross building and I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to select the area, area category. I'm going to put the area category on top area. I'm going to put in the area name and then the area area type. But area type we know is gonna be all uh, gross building area, area anyway, so. And then the number, if you want to have the area number, but we're not using area number, so we don't really need it. Now let's in here, let's just put one more thing, uh, comments, and move down, okay? So, and then we're gonna to go to sorting and grouping we're going to sort by every category and we're going to need a header um, and then just by name and then we need grand total uh, let's see what this table looks like now so we have pave area and coverage setup so now in here, uh, gross building area, area name. Some of the area we hasn't given a name yet. So let's just go through here. Window well, this is probably going to be in under hard landscape category. So I'm just going to type in hard landscape. So once I type it in, it's going to create a header and then I can just go in here and pick like a drop down. I don't need to type this again. Window well. And then sunken patio is probably going to be on the hot landscape area as well. Storage chat is probably going to go under the coverage for the site. Stair uh, is probably going under hot landscape. Pay for walkway is also going to be hot landscape. Pay the patio. Garden house is going to be under coverage. Concrete pad is probably going to be hot landscape. Brick walkway is also hot landscape. And then backyard is probably going to be soft landscape. So we're going to type in soft landscape. And then we don't know what this is, so we can take a look and say highlighting model. So this is also soft landscape. So we go back to the area schedule. This is going to be soft landscape. And let's see what this one is. Highlighting model. So also soft landscape. So this is also soft landscape. So we're just going to close, go back in here. Now you can also rename the, the area in here too. So these are the soft landscape category. 
so these are area having labels we're just going to say this is soft landscape or planting area planting so with all this set up now because we have a header we don't need to see this uh, column repeated so many times so we can just go in here right mouse say uh, high column and then also area type we know is all gross building area so we actually can go back to the field and just remove this area type from the table so now we have a heading and we have area name area now we need to format this so we're going to make this uh, looks better by making right justify rather than left justify so we go to formatting so in the area column we're going to make this right justify and we're going to do the fill format rather than have no decimal place square meter and we're going to need to power at least one decimal place and use digital grouping select ok apply select ok now also we can have another column to show the the percentage of this now we go back to formatting again and we're going to select area and in here we want to calculate total and then in the field or maybe in the field we want to add another calculated parameters it's going to percentage area by total divided by total so this is a percentage we just can use percentage of property let's like okay and then we also need to format this we're going to move it actually in the field we want it to be above the common column in here and in formatting we're going to make it uh, center justify field format we want to have at least one decimal place and use digital grouping and then select ok and then select ok and now you have the percentage of each area now we want to have a subtotal of each area so we want to go back to uh, formatting again percentage of property rather than no calculation we say we want calculate total let's select ok and also we want the subtotal of each so go back to formatting again and then in here uh, under sorting a grouping we want a footer and we just want uh, totals only select ok then you see that paved area is 8% and soft landscape is 52.4% uh, and then coverage is 24.5% so this is all done for you so if you change the uh, the area boundary this will automatically update now that we have the all the area categories sorted out in the table uh, we are ready to add a color uh, scheme to this area plan so from the annotation tab and in color field legend I'm just going to drag it in here area gross building okay and now we're going to go to uh, click in here and say add a scheme now title uh, building area legend area type now instead of doing that we're going to select area category So we have these different categories set up in the table. Now for the coverage, I probably don't want to have a pink. I want to have maybe something that is a little bit more stronger. Maybe a, a blue like this. Okay. And then hot landscape. Probably a green, sort of, sort of a green, but not so bright. 
maybe a bit of dull green select OK and then for soft landscape you'll probably want to have a bright green and then for the pave area I want to have just maybe a grey tone select OK so that's my color scheme I'm going to select apply select OK and you can see that the color scheme is set up and you can see the color legend now rather than seeing all this white area there's something we can do about this in a property uh, under color scheme so in here color scheme location rather than background we want to put it on the foreground so that you can see any white uh, area inside this color scheme now we're going to create a new uh, title block to place this view into a sheet so select new sheet under the sheet category in the browser and we're going to use the a1 metric select ok now we're going to drag this view here we plan we just drag in here place in here and then we don't want any uh, label in here we're going to click on the view again property and then in the option we say no title and in the sheet label we're going to say this is the site area plan and now afterward we can actually go back to the browser and bring in the in the calculation that we created inside uh, the schedule that we created so if we look at schedules area schedule gross build we just drag in here and that's our schedules so this is the overall uh, process of creating an area plan to calculate uh, paved area uh, building coverage and landscape area so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe thank you for watching